So if I love you, continue to be my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love and no man than this, and a man lay down his life on his friends. You are my friends, if you do what serve I command you. Henceforth I call in at servants, for a servant knoweth not what is God doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. My brothers and my sisters, the prayer of the Lord. You know, it's really friends appreciate friends. He represent you. It's really friends appreciate friends. Yes. So I appreciate you inviting and I appreciate you. And I must tell you that the pastor is one of my wife and I favorite preachers. Anywhere I pass, I have to be. Love him, love him, you tremendous servant of God. But I say to us today, to the church of God, friends appreciate friends. And appreciation is really a recognition and enjoyment of some good or quality in another person. Are, are your associate. The most famous of all testament friendship that we have ever known or seen in the Bible is found between David and Jonathan. In the New Testament, my brothers and sisters, Christ and his disciples are the next persons, our set of persons that we see that share this kind of relationship. In this text, which is a long and connected discourse running from chapter 13 of St. John right up through chapter 17. We see Jesus speaking to his disciples about him going away and that he is praying for them and that the, the, the Lord will attend to them. This is a long discourse because at this time the Lord was about to leave earth and he was talking to his disciples. They were a bit sad in the heart. They were a bit down to hear that now this sounds different. Jesus had never spoken to them like this before. No. Matthew, Luke, nor Mark are recording anything like this. This is only recorded in John. This long chat that Jesus had with his disciples. This is a significant moment between Jesus and his disciples, or among them, rather. Because at this time, my brothers and sisters, Jesus was what? Jesus moved everything from around him and was making himself bare and vulnerable to his disciples. He was saying things that he had never said to them before. He had opened up to them. In this case, it was necessary because Jesus, for the last moment, was just raising them and was just saying to them, Hey, boss, I want to have a long time now. And I appreciate you and you love them. And the thing about appreciation and love is that it has to be wrapped up in a package of friendship. My brothers and sisters, the text set before us is significant because at this is the middle of the upper room discourse. Because Jesus had with those he loved and appreciated. This was the, the time and the upper room and they were talking and he was about leaving and he said again, friends, appreciate friends. My brothers and sisters, three things I raised with us. I quickly go through them and then I, 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 I close and, and, and sit down. One, my brothers and sisters, I want us to understand that friends appreciate you, friends are willing to give up all for each other. My brothers and sisters, not only that, but friends appreciate you, friends are, are willing to give up everything for each other. They are also what? Ah, they are, uh, they are also listen to one another. My brothers and sisters, not only are they willing to give up all for each other and listen to each other, but my brothers and sisters, this is also significant that friends appreciate your friends. They call them vulnerable and available to each other. My brothers and sisters, the text is interesting and I love it and I love this today. Because here's what verse 12 and 13 says to us, my brothers and sisters. It says, This is my command. That you love one another as I have loved you. Oh, a friend gives all, extends him or herself 
at all times. The word that is translated, friend, my brothers and my sisters. I know you can't have this kind of a teaching, preaching, because a pastor is a teacher and a great servant of the Lord and a scholar also. Here's what it says. The word of friend, Jews here, as by Jesus speaking to his disciples. It's the same word, my brothers and sisters, that is, that is translated to be love. There are two words that can be used for friends. One is a terrorist. A terrorist of friend, it means comrade and associate. There's another word that which Jesus used in this text right here as he speaks to his disciples. This word, my brothers and sisters, is filio. And all of us know that filio means love. So when Jesus speaks to his friends, he said, you are my friends. Since you keep my commandment, Jesus was not going to say that I love you because you have kept my commandment. Because this word is translated to be the same. Church, hear me, my brothers and sisters. This love, my brothers and sisters, is an unselfish, ready to serve, and is constant, my brothers and sisters. Which means that Jesus was saying to his disciples that I appreciate you because you have been constant. Together, we have been working together, and I take note of what you have been doing. Church of the living God. It is the same word that Jesus used when he asked Peter in St. John chapter 21. Peter, do you not know me? Jesus was asking him, Are you a friend of mine? Because the word that Jesus used here for friend is the same word he used up in that passage that he said, Do you not know me? Church of the living God. The Bible is clear that if we are going to be friends and we are going to appreciate each other, the word love must play a significant role in the world. It has to be, my brothers and sisters, a significant uh, place for love in the relationship. This is a personal attachment of uh, having affection towards somebody. Oh God, this is me. This means that you are ready to listen and you are ready to help the next person because we are friends and we want we appreciate each other. So we are always here for one another, my brothers and sisters. That's the church that Jesus calls you. That's how Jesus calls the church into him. That we must serve each other, help each other, listen to each other, encourage each other, stand up for one another, my brothers and sisters. So, keep up! We are going to love and appreciate one another. My brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us that a friend has to love like Jesus loved. Hmm. This is significant. Stay in the church. I believe in God. Jesus said, if we are going to love and appreciate one another, we have to love like He loves. Here's what the Bible says. The Bible tells us that uh, that love the neighbor as a self. Am I correct, church? Then here Jesus in the same Bible tells us, I am saying to you now that you must love one another as I have loved you. That is a different kind of love. That is a different kind from love the neighbor as, as, as a self. You know Jesus loves. Jesus loves to the point that he gave his life for his sins. Those are two different kinds. So when we love people and we appreciate people, it means we are willing to give our very self for those persons. Big job of time. Big work, you know. Jesus said, No, I said to you, don't love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor like I love your neighbor. It's a different standard. Love your neighbor like yourself. It's different from the standard that Jesus said. Love your neighbor. The neighbor like I love you. Love you. My brothers and sisters. Here's what the Bible continues to teach us. My command is this that you love each other as I have loved you. We can't appreciate each other unless we practice the principles of the Lord Jesus. To love one another like Jesus loved you and I. And that's that what missing the mark. The standard is, the trademark is that we have to love those around us like Jesus loved them. It's a different standard, a different mark, a different place to reach. 
love and appreciation for one another. We have to be like that, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Here is what we heard of the Lord says to us. That the whole world mm -hmm. for, 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 for press, for missing. If you're going to listen to each other like Jesus said, because that's what he said, you will listen to The root word for that, my brothers and sisters, is pras. Pras means to do or to practice. Lord oh, God Almighty. So Jesus said, if you are ever going to love one another, and if you are ever going to be a part of the kingdom and appreciate one another, you must practice the things. You can't be in appreciation and love with each other.
So you pray enough to be still. You pray to get out of here. You pray to get out of here. This is my wisdom. My brothers and my sisters, here David and Jonathan. Oh God of my poem, David and Jonathan was going to Jonathan's brothers. Oh, Saul and Jonathan's son decided that he was going to kill David. Everything that Jonathan heard, that uh, Saul planned and plotted to destroy his friend. He said, Go on, run the sun, hide behind the stone, and I'm coming with a youth and two arrows. If I shot the arrow, too far, and I said it's me and you, it means you must run. If I said the arrow is on the left side, pick it up. It means that you must stay. Church of the living God, when you go there, is a same argument. He told him the arrows are behind you. You have to run away. David learned how to listen to his friend. So his life was spared. If you are friends, you must be able to converse. Somebody must listen. A thousand friends, a friend that listens is better than a thousand relatives. You must listen to your friend. David's life was spared because he listened. Friends appreciating friends, we pass them. Walk close. 
the price man. It is perfect. So Jesus is saying then, and he need it then. He's saying no, and he needs it now. And he's saying to the future, and he's demanded when thousand years shall come. Jesus is the same. The same thing. This is what it is. Not that part of the this. I expose myself to you. I become vulnerable to you. I hold on to you. Here is water. My father said, and he's on the same things. I am saying to you, when we love one another, we don't hide no nothing from one another. We hold no myself. We see up. We reason. We talk. In the multitude of counsel, there's safety. We understand that God exposes his son and his son has exposed himself to us as friends. God is saying the same thing. If we appreciate and we love one another and we are fathers and sisters and friends together, then we will stop. Oh, can we stay? That's where I have you, man. That's where I have you, man. We have God. That's where I have church. And my word and a pastor word and Jesus word. Yes, you're going back at a risk. Because hear what the man says. Only a friend knows your secret. So only a friend can reveal it. I put that to the test. And I tell that sad man, he was making a mistake. Because friends don't reveal friends' secret. Friends! What the God wanted to do is our friend. That person's discourse is here. That's why pastor of course in session. Lord God Almighty and of his hours. Lord God and we come and we find them and we see how we do church and the living God and we talk to them. Lord God imagine one pastor bearing the burdens of hundreds of different people and uh, situations. Sit down and listen. Oh God you become vulnerable to your pastor and you have to worry that when pastor comes you're going to hear your story, you're confident, you're glad, you're somebody with whom you can share your burdens and your heavy load to help you to carry you along. My brothers and my sisters, we are friends and we love one another, we become vulnerable and we expose ourselves. Oh, do I do? Amen. 